Hey guys, so today I'm here with a video discussing what should we should expect in the upcoming Apple iPod event. Uh, so the first thing I want to talk about is just when it's going to be. Um, some people have been kind of th thought it was going to be in August. Um, definitely does not look like it's going to be in August. Um, a lot of people for some reason think that it's going to be maybe like, you know, the, towards the uh, middle to the end of September. However, that really doesn't make any sense, and after doing a little bit of research, I'm fairly confident that it will actually go on September 8th. Uh, so let me just kind of explain. Um, so the main reason why I think it's going to be on September 8th, um, there's a couple, a couple of reasons, but the first one is that it lines up perfectly with last year. Last year was uh, September 9th on a Wednesday, this year September 8th on a Wednesday. Makes sense. Um, in addition, I've also been taking a little bit of a look. Um, Apple has been running a iPod event where basically if you buy, if you're a student, you buy a Mac, you can get a free iPod Touch. However, this thing ends on the September 7th. Now, I think this actually makes could make a lot of sense that they would end it the day before they announce all the new iPods, trying to get rid of the old ones. They've done this in the past, and I think it kind of makes sense. So guys, I'm not 100% sure that it will be on the 8th, but that's kind of the date I think. I think it makes a lot of sense. A lot of things kind of point to that. Um, now beyond that, now let me just go ahead and talk a little bit about what I expect to see. Um, now first and foremost is absolutely new iPods. Uh, so obviously here's my iPod Touch second generation. Um, and let's just go ahead and start with the iPod Touch fourth generation. So it looks, it's likely going to be very, very similar to this one. Um, however, there's going to be a few key improvements. Uh, so, thanks to uh, a lot of speculation and everything, it does look like it will have a FaceTime camera. So, most likely a camera right about here, as you guys can see in this shot right here, of an actual prototype iPod with the hole for the FaceTime camera. So, right about where you'd find you know, the speaker grill on an iPhone, you likely will be able to find the FaceTime camera on the next iPod Touch. Um, so, I think it's going to be great, and actually, because a lot of the leaks have kind of indicated that FaceTime will be used for both email addresses or phone numbers. So, you can actually go ahead, obviously, because with an iPod Touch, you don't have a phone number, so it really will, should be able to work just fine. In addition, I also expect, if you go ahead and flip over the iPod, I also expect that we will be seeing a camera. Uh, now, what kind of camera this is going to be, I'm not entirely sure. Uh, now, I've, I've spoke on this previously. It's probably either going to be a similar a camera very similar to the iPhone 3GS, or it's going to be a camera from the iPhone 4. Personally, I kind of tend to think it will probably be more like on the iPhone 3GS. However, we really don't know. It, it might be something in between, but I'm just not 100% sure that it actually will be up to this par of the iPhone 4, as, of course, the iPod Touch is very, very thin. I'm not really entirely sure if there's actually room for it. Um, so flipping this back over... So I do believe that there will be both a front-facing camera and a rear-facing camera. Um, now, it likely will also have a flash, although I'm not 100% sure about that. But at any rate, I do think that the iPod Touch is definitely going to be really nicely taken care of as far as cameras go. Uh, now, continuing on, I also think that the iPod Touch will get the Retina display. Uh, now, no offense, of course, the display on the iPhone and the iPod Touch, I mean, still looks just fine. But I really think that, you know, always the iPod Touch has followed the iPhone, so when the iPhone gets something, the iPod Touch gets it. And I don't see any reason why Apple would decide to hold off on the Retina display for the next iPod Touch. So, of course, this means it's going to be much crisper, much clearer looking, and much higher resolution. Uh, now, moving on from this, it's pretty obvious, but I do believe it will be, get all the same technical specs. So, it should get the 1 GHz Apple A4 processor, as well as probably about half a gigabyte of RAM. So, the next iPod Touch should be very, very powerful. Literally, it, almost identical to the iPhone 4 as far as speed. It's going to have very similar cameras, if not the same cameras. Um, it's going to be very similar to the iPhone 4, and I don't really see anybody complaining about that. Um, now, as far as what the next iPod Touch will look like, I'm a little unclear. Um, most of what everybody has been saying is that it will likely keep this same sort of design from the second and the third generation, just with the added things. But I would not be surprised whatsoever if they do decide to tweak some things. If you know, maybe the corners get a little more squared off, maybe they get rid of some of the chrome or whatever. I don't really know, but. Likely, I wouldn't bet on a huge thing. I don't think the iPod will get any larger, smaller, probably just minor d design tweaks, if any at all. Uh, so now let's go ahead and move on to some of the other things that I expect to probably see. Uh, so one of which is the I Apple iTV, or the Apple TV. And uh, if you've watched my videos, you know I've talked about this a couple times, so I won't rehash all of that. But basically, I do believe that the Apple iTV will probably be shown uh, this September. 
Um, now, it also might be shown maybe later on in the year, but I think it makes sense. Um, now, the Apple ITV, just really quickly to refresh, is going to be very similar, actually, about the size of an iPod Touch or an iPhone. It's going to be where instead of you know having a large box that runs the Apple TV, it's just going to be something very small, iOS-based, that will really kind of uh, step it up and really compete with Google TV. Um, so I'm not sure about this one. Um, I'm, I'm fairly confident about you know seeing the next iPod, but I'm not so sure if we'll actually be able to see the ITV September. I think it makes sense, but we'll either see it September or maybe later on, maybe early next year. So who knows about that one? Um, so next is the next iPod Nano. Now we actually heard a lot of really interesting rumors about the next iPod Nano. Um, to be honest, I'm not really all that sure about them, but I'm going to go ahead and just give you guys some of my thoughts and my opinions and let you make your own conclusions. Uh, so some of the things that people have been talking about is that the iPod Nano is actually going to morph with the iPod Touch, and, uh, or rather with the iPod Shuffle, and get a touch screen. Yeah, I know, you can try to follow all that. Um, so basically what a lot of people have been saying is that there was a 1.7 inch touch screen. Um, so of course this is a 3.5 inch, so I mean very small a very small touchscreen that was leaked and people saw it and it had Apple branding on it. Um, so a lot of people think that actually could be part of either the new iPod Shuffle or the new iPod Nano um, or whether they combine those lines or whatever they decide to do. Um, so this would likely be a Nano, probably a bit, a good, decent bit smaller than a Nano with a touchscreen. Uh, it most likely would get rid of the click wheel. I know a lot of you guys really love the click wheel. I mean I think it's pretty cool too but um, now, as far as how it's going to work, if it's going to still keep the camera, uh, what the price is going to be, if it's going to replace both the Nano and the Shuffle, or if it's going to be just an all-new iPod, I'm not really sure. Um, but I will say that while the iPod Shuffle, I mean, I think it's just getting too small. I don't think they can get it any smaller. It would just be kind of ridiculous. And as far as the iPod Nano, I'm, I'm thinking they really have just kind of hit a brick wall there. I mean... Yeah, we've had iPod Nanos with click wheels, and yeah, it's kind of nice to have a camera, but really there's not a whole lot of room to improve upon it, because, I mean, why not go ahead and just spend a little bit more money and get the iPod Touch, which can obviously do much, much more. So I do think that they will go ahead and redo the iPod lineup, uh, maybe combine the two, maybe do something else, but, you know, we'll just have to see about that. Anyway, guys, I will, of course, be, when I, even if they do, uh, whenever, whatever time they decide to do the iPod event, um, I will, of course, cover it live, so you guys can go ahead and subscribe to me if you like. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching.